Okay, right here is a fleet of retired Caterpillar D9H tractors. The D9H was first introduced by Caterpillar in 1974 as a replacement for the older D9G model. Now, let's go and get a closer look at one of these old girls. Four different blades were offered for the D9H, depending on what the customer preferred. All three of the D9s that you are looking at right here are equipped with model 9U blades, which measure 15 feet 9 inches across and rated at 17 and a half cubic yards. To help give you an idea of the size of a D9H, this tractor measures 11 feet 8 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 9 feet 11 inches wide. The D9H is equipped with Caterpillar's conventional low sprocket and final drive design. A sealed and lubricated track surrounds the track pin with lubrication to reduce internal bushing wear. Now let's go up on top of the 9H. Just like the older D9G, the new D9H was powered by a Caterpillar D353, turbocharged and after-cooled inline six-cylinder diesel engine. And this engine produces 410 horsepower for this tractor. And if you look, you can see the single air cleaner. And up top on the hood is the single air intake. As you can see, this particular D9H is equipped with a modular enclosed operator's cab, which was an optional feature for this tractor and was first introduced in 1975. All controls within the operator's cab on this tractor are self-contained and disconnect so that the entire operator's cab tilts rearward for servicing the powertrain components. Let's go inside and check it out. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the D9H. Okay, out in front here you can see all the gauges to monitor this entire tractor when it's in operation. From left to right the gauges are as follows water temperature, hour meter, engine oil temperature, fuel pressure, and the engine oil pressure gauge. Out in front on the control panel you can see other switches to work other various functions on this tractor such as a switch for the wipers, the headlights, and down below here you can see the ignition switch to start the tractor. This big hand lever that you see out in front of the operator controls the engine throttle. You push forward to decrease the throttle and pull back to increase the throttle. Directly out in front of the operator 
are the two steering clutch and brake hand levers. The D9H is equipped with hydrostatically actuated multiple disc oil clutches. This is how you steer this tractor. Each hand lever controls each individual track. And how these work is very simple. Pull back halfway to apply the steering clutch. And pull back all the way to apply the track brake. These two foot pedals that you see on the floor right here control the left and right side track brake. This third pedal that you see over here on the right side controls the decelerator. The D9H is equipped with a Caterpillar planetary type full power shift transmission. And this hand lever that you see over here on the left side is the gear shift for the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. There are three forward speeds and three reverse speeds on the D9H. This hand lever that you see over here on my right side controls all the functions of the blade out in front. And the hand lever that you see directly behind the blade control hand lever controls all the functions of the shank ripper which is located on the back of the tractor which you can get a good view of by looking out the rear window. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a D9H. Mounted on the back of this tractor, directly behind the operator's cab, is a 230 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right there. And on the right side of this tractor is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank. As you can see, this particular D9H is equipped with a single shank ripper, however Caterpillar also offered a multi-shank ripper for the D9H, depending on what the customer preferred. Up top, you can see the two cylinders to tilt the ripper forward and back. And down bottom, you can see the two cylinders to raise or lower the ripper. And the overall operating weight of the D9H, when equipped with the 9U blade and the single shank ripper, as you see right here, is 52.4 tons. With the multi-shank ripper installed, the D9H weighs in at 55 tons. As a response to the growing industry demand for a larger and more powerful mining class tractor, Caterpillar offered two twin tractor configurations of the D9H, which were known as the DD9H and the S by S D9H. Both of these configurations developed 820 horsepower, making them the most powerful tractors ever built by Caterpillar until the introduction of the D11R model. Both of these configurations were slowly phased out after the introduction of the Model D-10 in 1977. Later on, in 1980, Caterpillar introduced the high-track drive 
D9L model as a replacement for the older D9H. However, the D9H remained in production until 1981 as a precaution in case the D9L failed. In the end, the D9H turned out to be the most powerful low sprocket drive tractor ever built by Caterpillar. But there she is, the legendary D9H.